have no idea what we're dealing with here. Greetings and salutations, folks, and welcome back to Star Trek, where everything is probably stay clear of the injury, just to be sure. Got it. No, I'm going to rub up against their gurneys. Talk to Daniels. Um where everything is already very dramatic, uh, right from the get-go. It's not really a calm moment. Uh, everything is kind of rushed in, which I feel is kind of a, a symbolic for the game in, in its whole. I've been sent to escort you to the Commodore. I don't need an escort, especially an armed one. But, uh, Captain, the Commodore has insisted. The Commodore 64 has insisted. Remember, the Commodore Daniels is still a superior officer. It may be beneficial to our larger goal if we follow this gentleman. Do I have a choice? No, I do not. Um, but in regards to rushing things, like we are about, we are roughly about halfway through the game, uh, which hasn't really taken much time at all. You will need to check your weapons before continuing. You're kidding me, right? I'm a Starfleet captain. It is the protocol of this station. There is little time to argue. I advise that we do as they say. No, my photon laser. I'll have no choice but to try to punch people as I walk really, really slowly. I just want to know one thing. Did anything come through? No. Sir? I assume you are here because the machine caused a rip. Did anything come through? We were attacked. They took my father. So yes, the Gorn came through. Commodore, with all due respect, what the hell is So wait, did Daniels actually expect it to create a rip in space? My command of a starship because my daddy died in some heroic blaze of glory. Some of us have to earn our way in life. And be a huge jerk about it. will make note of their sacrifice. Commodore, you do realize that the Helios device has fallen into hostile hands. If the Gorn learn to harness its power, they will be all but unstoppable. Isn't that where you two come in, sir? You two were supposed to be the heroes. Starfleet's rising stars, or so I read somewhere. If that is truly the case, I would advise that you get that machine back before there are even more casualties. Um, sir, that's what we're trying to do. I can't believe you aren't even paying attention to the main objective. must believe me. I did this to protect our people. That device was supposed to help rebuild our planet. If I had known that, it would have... On screen! How would they have used a device that creates rips through space to rebuild the planet? Commodore, where is your communications bay? We must notify Starfleet at once. This is my station. I'll notify Starfleet. Prepare my shuttle for evacuation. Oh, okay. I knew I hated that guy. I will do the notification, Captain, but I will notify them from a safe distance. But first, let's get our guns back, which we just uh which we just lost. What the hell was that? Oh no, we cannot get our guns back. Oh, we can get our guns we back. Our weapons back. Agreed. Help yourself to whatever you need, Captain. I'll help myself to my weapons. These will suffice. These ought to do. Oh, look! Every weapon has a secondary fire. Thank you for teaching us this at this point in the game. Ooh, and there's a gun in here as well that I already have. Okay. So they replaced my Ravager, I guess. Come on, come on, run! Oh. Fire suppression systems have failed. That was fast. Gotta put out that fire. I believe we can override the power grid with our tricorders. What am I? Oh, there it is. You know. I was hoping to, at the very least, uh, see if I could try hacking again in the last episode. 
Uh, but there hasn't been a single hacking minigame for quite a while. The turbo lift will take us to the mess hall. Oh no, Spock is stuck. Oh, there he goes. You know, aside from a few bugs here or there, like, I, I feel uh, this could have really been a, a much better game if they had a lot, a good, like, a good more year or so just to, to work on it. But it's also very short. And, then, and I suppose there was also some design and pacing flaws too, so maybe it couldn't have been a good game. <laughs> this game kind of falls in line with a lot of those uh, shooters that were made back in the 360 and PS3, like Time Shift and... And uh, Truck. Oh. Oh, yeah, not too many hits. Also, it seems like that guy cannot be stunned. Pointless trivia, you can actually stun the Gorn and try to take a mostly uh, non-lethal approach. I'm too deep behind enemy lines. Spock, back me up. Do something with your tricorder. Anything with your tricorder. Alas, because he is played by an AI, he does not know how to do things. Ah, damn it. I'm going to duck behind here, get my shields back. It's a good thing they're taking cover, like, right behind the broken glass. Oh, hello. Thanks, Spock. At the very least, he can revive me, even if he's unwilling to boost my shields. Can I get him? Yes, I can. There are a lot of guys in this room. There we go. What does this do? Oh, I can replenish my ammo just like in the middle of this room for some... Damn it. <laughs> okay, it is definitely very convenient that you can shoot people while down on the ground. There we go. It appears there are more enemies. Look out for the enemies. I forget if you have to fight invisible ones later on. I'm going to take some cover. Okay. I think that's going to be pretty much everybody. Let's replenish our ammo. And I still haven't thrown any stun grenades, so that's something I should eventually consider. Especially since there's eventually going to be a part that where I've actually played before. Um... Plasma Grenade. I'll grab that, actually. 
There's a part that I've played before um, that bugged out for me. So hopefully it does not bug out for me again. Because that will be problematic. There we go. Okay. Kirk. If you can please stop. Is Spock using like a shield thing? Ah. So that's more of a team thing. That's cool. Excellent. So that took care of the last of them. Ooh. Plasma grenade. Jim, I'm surrounded by those giant lizard things. Could really use your help. I'm surrounded by those unnamed lizard things. We're on our way. I have no idea what this is. Damn it, Jim, I'm a doctor, not a biologist. Yep. Okay. Okay, Spock went to the elevator, no problems. That, that's my attempt to stay positive in regards to this game. Did a, did a character do exactly what you would have expected them to do? Uh, like that guy, he just kind of walked into the room and just stood there while a turret killed him. If we can get close enough, we may be able to hack it with our tricorders. Oh uh, yeah. We could take it out the old-fashioned way. Sometimes the cover. Sometimes the old-fashioned way just could really use some cover. Just won't hack it. All right, now I can actually see what I'm... Oh. I forgot that there's the second. There we go. I forgot about the, the how the minigame actually worked, because I couldn't actually see the signals in the, the incorrect uh, display. But, now that I can see the signals, it's basically just matching things up. Truly... ...makes one feel like a hacker. No, no, no! Miss Fox, what is that thing? I believe it is injecting the crewman with some type of venom. I would suspect that this is how the infection is spread. What is that thing that we are watching slowly move closer to that crew member? Yes. Now here's a question. Why does the screen shake when Kurt, when, when uh, Spock is the one who's doing the punching? Like, I understand why the screen would shake when, say, uh, Kirk does the punching because they want to emphasize the impact. But... There we go. If we are careful, I believe we can continue undetected. Good idea. You guys any closer? Yeah, that... I'm sure you, Doctor, we are moving in your direction. Well, can you move a little faster? Yeah, that did not work very well. My readings indicate the power supply to the labs is being diverted somehow. So I believe this is the area where um, my previous attempt at playing the game had gotten bugged. Like, I was supposed to do something in a time limit. Hmm. But, 
Like, for some reason, I died, like, right before the last part of that, uh, that objective. Let's see if there's, uh, something I could hack. No, no, no. I was attempting to take cover. But cover is the same... Cover is the same button as roll. So when I ran towards the wall to take cover, he rolled instead. Uh, there we go. Give me a boost. Kirk said, "Give me a boost." Oh, okay. I was gonna say, Kirk said, "Give me a boost," and then he boosted Spock. Then. Kirk proceed to lift him up with his gun hand. So, okay. But yeah, uh, so when it went back to the checkpoint, it kind of like got stuck uh, and unable to actually progress. Does this put me around something? Like past that turret, maybe? Alright. Nope. Can't get inside there. I think that I have to get inside those uh, locked rooms as part of the next objective. How you holding up, Bones? Oh, I'm just damn peachy. Could you hurry it up? We are almost at your location. Well, I hope you almost find me alive. Hmm. Now, how do I hack that, that uh, turret? Because I don't exactly see the... See the computer that it's expecting me to use to hack that one. Also, do they really have no idea I'm here? I guess they don't. The door is locked. Well, of course it's locked, you pointy-eared son of a... I had to lock myself in here. Okay, I just need to gather my samples and... Okay, here's the time limit. Ah, uh, these guys are invisible, I think. Captain, the creatures have gained access to the lab's computer system. And I need to stop them from the hacking the systems. On that Helios machine? The doctor may be correct. Despite the Gorn's animalistic appearance, they are a rather sophisticated race. If they were to obtain sufficient information on how to operate the device... Yeah, yeah, end of the world is... Despite my Let's preconceptions phones, that the Gorn us? look I'll incapable of using computers and are inferior and stupid, they seem to be able to use computers. My assumption may have been illogical. Okay. So I've got... Three places to go. Can I go through here? I cannot. The Gorn have not cracked our encryption yet, but it's only a matter of time. If you can get near 
that terminal, you should be able to overload it and destroy the data. Right. Oh, nope. Stun is not permanent. There we go. Um, alright. So I need to go in there. There we go. There we go. Oh, hello. Maybe I'll have Spock hack this. Let's see what you can do about that keypad. Only because it'll at least give him something useful to do. go and now we've got one over there we've got a turret way down there I believe I'm um, I've got plenty of time okay Hack that spark. Where, in fact, are you? Okay. <laughs> and while he's doing that, I should probably head out and search for the next one. Which I believe is in that direction. But in order to get to it, I have to go that way. Is he still hacking? Yeah, he's... Oh my god, he has stopped hacking. How do I do this? Only one left. Okay, we gotta move. Only 210 seconds to go. So let's, uh, we're gonna swing around, not this aisle, because it goes directly to a turret. Another encryption layer has been cracked. There are only two left. Nope, we have to go through maybe... God, how do you just tell Spock to join you? Because I can see the turret over there on the... There we go. There's the override for the turret. Turret is hacked. Damn, there's more of them. I would have never expected there to be more of them. Um, let's stun this guy. Damn it. And now he's hidden behind the box. 
Of course, Spock is still way back there. Only one encryption layer remaining. There. In theory, if I get Spock to attack that guy... Oh no. Running out of time. I probably should go. 77 seconds. There we go. Last terminal down. Excellent. Of that data was crucial. My thanks to both of you. Great. Did you get my research samples? I didn't mention anything about samples. Jim, this is no time to argue. Without those samples, we could all become infected. Cold, mindless, and capable of human emotion. Kind of like <laughs> Spock. From my experience, Doctor, human emotion is highly overrated. All right, we'll get your samples. Spock, let's go. You know, that joke would have worked a little bit better if he didn't specify kind of like Spock. Like, if uh, if he said we could be all incapable of emotion, and then he said, and then Spock jumped in and said that a human emotion was overrated. Like, then that would have worked a little bit better. There we go. Yeah, and I uh, managed to do that without killing any, uh, without directly killing any um, infected personnel. This looks interesting. You would be best served hacking that mine to disable it. Ah, are they expecting me to be uh, a, a stealth person in this game? Like always, I will do my best, but I will probably fail. Now, oh. let's see, what, what else can I buy for myself? I don't know. I'm not necessarily that interested in that any of them. Let's give uh, Spock some better... Uh, let's see. Allows for powerful charge shots. Switches firing mode to a three-shot burst. Or have it pierce through any surface. Seems useful. All right. I don't entirely know what that mine does because I didn't actually get to see it in action. I guess it just explodes, maybe. Maybe they were expecting um, that mine to be more successful at taking out that yet? first guy. I have not. They gotta be here somewhere. It is likely they will not be in one place. Oh, of course not. Why make anything easy? Because I think that's the main reason why they got so many mines. And the ability to hack them is... Now you have the ability to, like, and you have these enemies who are constantly on patrol. Hmm. There is a bottom level to this. Any luck finding my samples? 
working on it. Oh, hello. Uh, where did he go? Oh, they teleport. Great. There we go. Oh, hello. I keep missing this drone. Yep. There we go. There that goes. All right. Okay, so it's clear that I've basically given up on the entire idea of stuff. Just, just saying. I mean, I'm, I'm sure it was expected. Damn it. I didn't even notice that mine. At least now I know what these mines do. Um... There we go. There goes that guy. <sighs> huh. There is a turret over there. It looks like it's hooked up to a, a computer way on. Uh. So let's grab him. That's very nice. You can stay down, sir, because I believe you can just stay down forever, I think. I could be horribly wrong about that, but that's what you get for deciding... You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna charge this turret. God damn it. Let's see, I think these two match. There we go. And now I can safely revive Spock. Who decided, you know, I'm just gonna rush forward and hope for the best. Much appreciated, Captain. I'm terrible at reviving Spock. Uh, what does this do? Alright, I think that was the bottom one. Yep, okay. Found the first sample. Ah. We must find the remaining sample and continue with our mission. Okay, oh, talk, let's find it. I passed it by. Also? This gun is standing up on its own. Alright, now that nobody's shooting at me. Alright, that was down here. McCoy, we got your samples. Anything else? I have all I need for now. Good. Make your way to the shuttle bay and help get some of these people to safety. Already on my way. Spock, the base has become fully compromised. I believe there is nothing further we can do except oh. to call for a complete evacuation. You should proceed to the shuttle bay with the rest of the survivors. Acknowledged. 
Oh yeah, you can't stun them, so you have to... I am just barely alive. You know, I might as well get knocked down. Just so that I could be healed. Because once, like, my shields go, I have, like, a very small increment of health left. Alright. We've completed our objectives, we got the samples, hopefully Kirk can make- oh, no, no, no. Damn it. <laughs> oh, that- that worked out, I guess. <laughs> that actually worked out for the best, because... Because... Oh, hello. Um... There we go. Uh, because I don't have to worry about Spock trying to revive me mid-battle. There we go. Is that guy shooting through the walls? I think he is. Ooh, what is in here? Is this just experience? Oh no, it is a, uh, again, I haven't used any grenades yet. I probably should, I probably should fix that sometime soon. Although the problem is I have to also worry about about making sure I don't kill off any uh, infected. I'm full on health because of my screw-up. Your keen sense of the obvious never fails to impress me. Okay, what is this guy trying to accomplish? There we go. Oh, no, no, no. Um, okay. That, um, bypass didn't work out so well. Did I get this guy? There we go. Now I got him. You know, what would have worked better is, uh, like... I have the ability to boost his shields, but it only boosts his shields. Like, it would have been a little bit more of a cleaner... Uh, cleaner gameplay element is, is if it boosted both of our shields. That way it would have encouraged both players uh, to want to boost shields more often, rather than be like... Rather than consider it as something that takes them away from their uh, part of the game. Be like, ah, oh, now I've got to boost his shields again. Uh, it's more of a... Okay, I thought that was the... Uh... I thought that was the, uh, the hacking terminal for the turret, but it turns out it was not. Um, Spock? No. 
<laughs> okay. Alright, at the very least I'm not sent back too far. Ah, damn it. There we go, finally. Thank you, Spock. Okay, that functioned. <laughs> Alright, let's knock this guy out. Hack him. Figure out which of these computers actually uh, controls... Which contr uh, computer controls this turret? Because I clearly chose the wrong one. Did that work? No, it did not. So, I am going to... throw a grenade. That didn't actually destroy it. Ah, My thanks. Okay, let's try that again. Let's shoot him with the phaser because that stuns at the very least. Okay, finally. We can proceed. I wonder what, what uh, I would have actually hacked a... Uh... Uh, that thing with. Did that ha the, did the thing I hacked, was that for the door? Hmm. Probably, actually. Ah, uh, and another turbo lift. Spock? Oh, Spock, you came. <laughs> uh, I was worried you weren't coming. You, you just decided, you know what, uh, I'm gonna stay behind. I'm gonna stick around this room, of all places. Captain, you made it. Well, where the hell is Daniels? He should be nearing the shuttle bay. The team and I were about to go in and clear out hostels. We should proceed before the Gorn make escape improbable for the entire crew. Also, considering the fact that um, Daniel started off this level uh, proceeding to um, to his emergency shuttle, like, like he was clearly taking uh, the long way around. Thank you for your help. We'll cover you. Just get your people on that shuttle. Help! Don't let them touch me! Help! I'm a coward! Oh my god. Spock, please stop circling around the enemy. Adding on over. Um. Oh my gosh. 
Does it really need to go... Oh! Hello! Oh no! You know, I don't think this game has a melee attack, really. It just has kind of like a stealth attack. Um, and that's it. Which is kind of interesting considering uh, the amount of palm punches. Star Trek. Star Trek fleet officers get up to. But I know I'm probably going to have to fight another boss soon. I've got trouble. Thank you. Also, switching between running and gunning and aiming sometimes creates some interesting arm flailing about. Um, which way do I go? Do I... Assist in clearing the Gorn. It's not really assisting if I'm the only one doing the work. <clears throat> there we go. Now will Commodore Daniels be referred to as a hero... Oh, <laughs> thanks for the answer, Spock. Ah, damn it. I'm almost out of ammo. Which is problematic because this... Like, this, this seems to follow, like, your old school... Uh, mentality in regards to shooters. Where, um, you're better off using the same weapons uh, that the enemy is using. Only because that's the thing... Only because that's the weapon that the enemy... Uh, that uh, you're gonna have more uh, plentiful amount of ammo for. Also, um, in this state, trapped. How are we going to evacuate the crew? Tomorrow, weapon status. Main weapon systems are now offline. Situation is critical. I was going to say, did they have any weapons? Need to give those shuttles a fighting chance. Got anything we can use? This station was not designed to withstand this type of attack. Tomorrow, is it possible to arm the subspace relay tower and convert the energy into some form of weapon? I suppose it may be possible, but you would need to reroute the station's power structure. But it would only afford you one highly charged shot. One shot may be all we need. You're a genius, Spock. Let's go. Can I jump this gap? Should I try to jump this gap is another question. If there's nothing in this room, I'm going to jump. That was incredibly awkward, but successful. Which I suppose defines most of my game, my uh, gameplay. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, compact medkit requisition. Okay. That doesn't seem very important, but sure, why not? Nah, damn it. 
Thank you, Spock. I'm trying not to start on fire. It seems like a good goal. Also, fighting against uh, odd job esque enemies is always a pain in the butt. Especially when they're really quick. It's like, ah, uh, trying to aim at this incredibly fast moving tiny thing. What now? The power station's most sensitive areas are locked down. My schematics show that you can gain full entry in the security room. Thank you for watching. Questions, comments, recommendations for something to play next? Comment down below or send it on over to it sounded good on paper at gmail.com. That's it sounded good on paper at gmail.com. So long for now.